Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to XCOM 2, where last time, this game's ticking clock would appear to have started ticking. The Avatar project is on the way, and we need to make sure it doesn't get completed, otherwise, uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure, but like, everyone seems pretty certain it would be bad, and we shouldn't allow it. So, okay, that's, you know, the big goal that we're working towards, uh, but in the more immediate term, uh, We've got to rescue Mox, because one, it's the right thing to do, and two, the lad's got a seriously badass grappling hook, and I really just want him back on the team fighting by my side. So, um, yes, that means uh, today we've got ourselves a stealth mission. Security level one, enemy at ease. Problem is, I don't really know what that means. Like, are there less enemies on the field? Is their detection range really small for the time being? I have no clue, so uh, let's just start moving towards Mox and figuring out, yes, what precisely is the right move to make here. So, okay, choice number one would appear to be, yeah, we could move in this direction towards what would appear to be, yeah, the compound on the high ground, but by the Luxie of it, he's way back over here. Probably best. We stay on the low ground in the swamp, just move forward uh, very carefully, step by step, and see what shows up in front of me. Okay, we're coming up on the end of the low ground here by the looks of it. Yes, now it's nothing but... Ooh. Okay, so this is not like a fence. It's a laser trip grid. If I go through this, then okay, I'm in. But I've also just told everyone I'm here, so... Screw that noise. Let's see if we can maybe, yeah, skirt around the outside, find another way in. Okay, I have looped a long way around this base, and I cannot see a way to bypass the barrier, so... Okay, looks like we may have to make a tiny bit of noise, but... Having looped around to here, bare minimum, Nox is literally right there. He's pretty nearby, so... Okay, if this is all about to go wrong, then the bare minimum, Cameron, I would like you... To get up here and... So it turns out that wasn't a proximity detection grid. It was just a glowy thing designed to mess with me. Right, everybody in nice and slow. There is no need to rush because, uh, yeah, there's no timer. Everyone's nice and chill. I think we've seen, like, some guards way over here. So just stay back, stay hidden, move in and nice and careful and keep my sniper on the tower at the back. He should be able to do good work if anything goes wrong. Oh, yeah, there we go. One guard, but... Oh. There's also something... Is that an auto turret? With, like, some armor? Because I think it might be. Okay. Step one, Karen. You're at first. Position confirmed. Put yourself up to the door and... What precisely do you have a shot at right now, Karen? Nothing. I could have sworn you just had a shot, though. Everybody else, just yeah. Overwatch, long watch, all the rest of it, and... Don't turn this way, buddy. Okay. If need be, you've got a shot at that guy. That won't be a problem. Do not take that shot just yet. We do not need to take that shot just yet. Everybody in. Nice and calm. We're already almost at this chappy. Claire, into the room. I think we might be doing just the right approach here. And Claire has got the drone, of course, meaning she can do a, oh yeah, remote bypass, though. I'm going to be honest, that's like 50-50. I feel like, oh, do I even want to do this? Because I feel like this could potentially go wrong, actually. Okay, so we can definitely open the door. That's fine. But, okay, there's only a 63% chance of unlocking the door without security protocol. So, uh, I mean, Claire's got to be the best techie. She's literally travelling around with a piece of tech. So, uh, I mean, give it a go. And... Okay, we've unlocked the door, but I feel like we just failed the bypass door lock without triggering protocol. But also it says on fail, no effect. So, I'm not 100% sure whether the alarms are about to go off or not. 
Oh, I've definitely caused some trouble. Okay, okay. Apparently things, things have gone. Things have gone. Things have gone wrong. Okay, yep. Claire's fluffed dead. Claire's ruined everything. I say Claire's ruined everything. Okay, Claire has ruined everything. Yep, Claire's basically just screwed it all for everyone. And also now Cameron is like... Oh, cock me. Okay, now Cameron's trapped behind uh, enemy lines, uh, which is okay. Um, Cameron. So it turns out that really good position I thought you were in, it's a, it's a terrible position, actually. So, right, basically, Claire's, Claire's just ruined absolutely everything there. Good, 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 good job, Claire. You've doomed us all. Okay, I don't know what angle these guys are going to be coming from, but there's a door here. And a door here. And from a here, unfortunately, I can't open that one. So, okay. Take your position right here. Just start overwatching. We need to get you the flip out, though, to be honest, actually. I mean, we do literally have uh, the ability to reconceal the team. So that no one can see us. I mean, I feel like that's got to be a good thing, right? So, okay, we're back to concealed. Is that everyone or just... Okay, that's just the person who uses it. But you can all use it. So, in which case, everybody just disappear, okay? Use the ability that we have got to just disappear. Everyone forward, get mocked, get out. I think Claire may have also just walked into auto turret range. Because, okay, Claire is just basically enjoying ruining everything today. No. No, 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 no. Disappear again. Lovely. Okay, Cameron. I feel like, yeah, you being up in the tower is just no longer a good thing. Get away from those guys who are about to arrive as reinforcements. Like, yeah, get over here. That'll be fine. You loop around the outside of the base. If you can provide support from the rear... Great, but don't worry about it if not. I appreciate you're a sniper. This is not really your job. Okay, here come the reinforcements that were just called in. Bloody Claire, eh? And how many are we talking? Because, uh, I mean, Cameron might have been able to take them out. That is one priest, one possibly soldier, possibly officer. I'm not sure. So, if we're lucky... Are they just going to start walking normally? I don't know if they know where I am anymore because... Uh, I mean, the alert level's triggered, but equally I am concealed and... Uh-oh. I feel like Claire's immediately been... Claire, is there anything you actually don't want to fluff up today? And... You're about to take a shot, by the way. And... No, 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 that was... That was flipping. Hang on, who was taking a shot at who there? And, oh, cock, there's more of them coming in. Oh, this is... This is all gone completely tits up immediately. Um, okay, so... Right, 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 right. The enemy are now... Okay, this is... This is... This was going really well right up to the point where everything went wrong. Okay, just to confirm, yes, that was Claire getting shot a moment ago, not Claire shooting someone. So, okay, do you have any form of, like, decent shot from it anywhere around here? You're just not going to, are you? Okay. Bare minimum, I feel like we need to take that guy out, like, now. So, you just get round to here... And either, yeah, hit him, or if you can't, no, you can't grenade, there's no grenades here. 68%, it's not terrible. Take the shot, clap. Okay, bare minimum, that guy is down. I feel like they definitely know we're here. The problem we've got, though, is, um, yes. I think I need to move slightly closer to you in order to pick this guy up. Let's get over to him. Pick you up now, and at this point, unfortunately, yeah, you can't do much. I should probably have got Claire to do that, and you've definitely been revealed. Okay, hang on. We need to start moving towards the uh, exit point. So you just move over in this direction, and now, yes, you're going to start moving very slowly. Cameron is just 10 million miles away. Okay, this is completely not what should be going on. Cameron, just book it towards the exit area, and I fully appreciate you're going to be detected, but that's fine, because you're also going to be several miles in that direction before they realise what's going on. Oh, cock me. We need to just go. This is this is completely not right, and it's entirely Claire's fault. Oh, those guys are literally right next to Cameron. Two people just arrived next to Cameron. Okay, but they are not taking a shot immediately. That person's got a really good shot at Claire as well. Oh, cock me. Are you going to fire this turn? Do you get a shot this turn? There's the priest. Okay. Um, we're basically everyone surrounded. Everyone's... Uh-oh. The priest is about to do something. 
I think you might have just panicked or possibly stasis. Oh, cock me. That's Cameron now in trouble. Okay, good, 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 good. Cameron's in trouble. And that was a miss. Good. You just managed to completely miss right over there. Are you guys planning to uh, do anything, by the way? Okay, it's my turn again. And yes, Cameron is now isolated and paralyzed and everything. Okay, I need to get into position. This feels like pretty good cover just to peek outside. Claire now needs to, yeah, cover the retreat as far as possible. How many more people are here right now? Because, yeah, you just can't do anything for the time being. If Claire were to move to here, she could then take the shot of that person, but also there would be two more people now around. Who are the other two people? Hang on. Who else do you have a shot at? Oh, the people who are piling in from the rear. Good, 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 good. So you've also got to stay in a position where they don't have a shot at you. Okay, I'll tell you what. This doesn't feel bad, actually. Claire can move to right here, which gives a good cover from the people coming in from the rear, like, say, the priest. But she can take out this guy nice and reliably. So do that, because otherwise that person's going to keep getting some really, really good shots at time. Um, oh. Never mind. Claire was just immediately in the right spot to get some good stuff. So, okay, we've got ourselves uh, some lovely bits and pieces. The problem we've got here is, yes, where do I want, um, yes, Karen to end her turn? Because now there's people behind who have got a flanking shot at Karen. Karen's got plenty of health for now, but, you know, that's hardly a sure thing in the long term. I've not seen much sign of, okay, there's you there. I mean, this is a risk because I do not know how many people are over here. But I think anyone who was over here is coming in through this door. So I think you might be okay there. And then you just get out there, then evac with mocks. I'm really hoping I'm not immediately going to see, like, you know, 27 people. Otherwise, uh, this could be an issue. Then again, you can take a shot or two. You should be okay. I'm more concerned about Cameron, who's now just stood there doing nothing. So, oh, flip me, Cameron. Oh, I'm really worried about poor Cameron here. He can take one or two shots, but not that many. What are you doing, buddy? Okay, psychic ability of some description. Someone is being psychicked up right now. I don't really know what's going on. You're charging forward, but I've got a good shot at Claire. No, good. That was a really bad shot. So, okay, Claire is just carefully pulling back. You're moving over here too. And... That was an overwatch. Right, you, buddy, have got, yeah, bonus stats or whatnot. You're overwatching. No one's taking a shot at... Oh, cock me, there's more reinforcements coming in. Good, 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 good. And you're overwatching, aren't you? Brilliant. Okay. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. If I start pulling people out, then... I mean, to be honest, I feel like... It would not be a bad idea to just get you out of here. But I'm getting really scared about Cameron's chances. Like, if I just start evacing while Cameron's way back over there, Cameron is going to be in a lot of trouble. The only alternative is, hang on, can you shoot through the windows? I assume you can. Apparently you can't go through the windows, so maybe not actually, I'm not sure. As for Cameron outside, yeah, he's basically got nothing he can do. He is not going to hit the priest. The chap who's overwatching, yeah, he might hit them, but 40% and even then, he's still stuck in the right place with reinforcements piling in. He's got to go. He's just got to go, and uh, I think the best thing he could do is... Uh, oh, bloody hell. Okay. I would love this priest to die, but I do not see a way to make it happen. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Claire is going to start, yeah, just pulling back a little bit towards the evac point. What she's then going to do is she's going to send the aid protocol straight over to Cameron, who really bloody needs it because he needs to basically make a cocking run for it. So Claire's going to just send her little drone over there so he gets plus 20 defense. So, okay, that means I think, yeah, he's got a much better chance of successfully making a run away from the overwatch. Because with that in play, we're just running. Cameron is literally just running straight over here. He is going to trigger the overwatch, but with the defense. 
That was a miss. Good. The defense drone is doing its job. He is now in a position to... Oh, caught. He just walked into another one. And he missed again. Oh, flip me. I think we might have just made a very, very good move, actually. Cameron's now ready to evac next turn. As for Karen, it's time to cocking GTFO. Get Mox out of here. Both of the Overwatchers have been cleared. So you just basically, yeah, walk straight over there and get the flip out of Dodge. Rope comes down and Karen goes up. Okay, one person safely extracted. Turn ends. More cocking people coming in. All we've got to do is just get everyone out without dying. Which could potentially be a bit tricky, actually. There's more cocking priests coming in. If they use stasis, that could really be a problem. Oh, cock me, this is... This is starting to go wrong fast. And, okay, bare minimum, it's gonna take them time to move forward. They're all right now, yeah, outside the building. Claire is safe inside, at least for the moment. And they're starting to move forward. But they've got really bad shots. That's just Overwatch. Yeah, they're moving pretty cautiously, actually. So, okay, you're there. Uh-oh! Claire is really very much almost dead right now. Also, really important thing I don't know. Which is, does evacing use an action? Because if evacing doesn't use an action, Claire gets to live. If evacing does use an action, I feel like Claire might be about to die. Okay, we've got to give Claire the best chance she's got. She can't even heal. If she heals, she can, yeah, get some health back. But it doesn't matter because uh, she still won't be out of here. And then she'll be completely alone. If I use uh, the control move, McJibbles. Uh, I, know, I need you to go to, yeah, like here and then to here. So you're staying as far away from the Overwatch people as possible. Do it. Please do that. Please don't get hit. Okay. Claire, I am begging you. Oh, cock! That was a miss. That was a miss. Claire survived shot number one. And she hopped the thing. And now she's just running the cocking corner. That was a miss. Shot number two. Claire is 50-50, almost dying right now. And... Claire could go. Cock me, Claire lives. By some cocking miracle, Claire is alive. Also, I think she just left her drone behind. Claire, don't leave your drone behind. Okay, the drone caught up. Marvellous. And then Cameron just needs to get the flip out of Dodger. Okay, this was basically a textbook example of how not to do a stealth mission. But it's fine. Everybody's alive. And Cameron doesn't even get shot on his way out. So, okay, here we go. One quick evac. Cameron gets out too. Just got the, yep, no one left behind achievement. Brilliant. Job done. Mock secure. And Claire, I'm guessing, is going to need a, a lot of bloody medical care once this is done. Okay, Cameron doesn't get a promotion because, to be honest, he didn't really do anything. But poor old Claire does. So, okay, let's get yours done first. Simply because, uh, yes, I feel like you would really like to go to the medical bay at this point. So, uh, okay. I'm going to say... John can be like, you know, the more medical specialist. Claire can be the more fighty one. So uh, I'm going to give her the haywire protocol. Because I'm guessing that might actually have been rather useful during that mission. Because then she could have seized control of the turrets. That would have been brilliant. And as for Karen, once again, it's all about the stealthiness. So uh, yeah, we've already given her phantom. So yeah, she can remain concealed. Either while concealed... Uh, Giant bonus pile of, uh, yeah, aim and crit chance, which is pretty good, actually. Yeah, that just means uh, the first shot is really going to cocking a hurt, or doesn't trigger Overwatch or reaction. I mean, to be honest, having a soldier who could just say, I don't care about Overwatch, that's actually pretty powerful to my mind. Like, Shadow Strike is good at basically once during the fight, whereas Shadow Step, that's going to keep being useful. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to give that one a go. We'll see how I feel about it as time goes by. Oh, but we've got a problem. I'm guessing because, yeah, she just got a bit shot during that last mission. Claire has actually just picked up a negative trait. So she is now phobophobic. In the event that someone panics, she also might panic. So, right, got to keep an eye on that. That could be a bit of a problem. 
Oh, and speaking of the team, we've also got a new bonding opportunity. And oh my goodness, after their incredible joint action together during the last mission, Claire sending her drone over to save Cameron and then... I was about to say Cameron, like, you know, saving Claire in return. He didn't really. He just sort of sat there in the corner while Claire just ran the gambit by himself. In fact, actually, had I thought about it, yes, given Cameron had more health, I could have actually sent him on an inefficient route forward to draw the Overwatch. But we didn't. We didn't actually do that. Cameron just hid like a coward. But regardless, apparently Cameron and Claire are going to be bonded. Which I think is lovely, because they did just go on a really stressful mission together. And bloody hell, Claire's gonna be out for, yeah, nearly four whole weeks. Dear oh flipping dear. Still, bare minimum, we do have Mox back, and yeah, he currently is precisely the same as the last time we saw him. He hasn't picked up, like, an extra level or anything. The rest of the team, though, looking pretty good. Even Cameron only needs, yeah, one day's worth of rest before he's back in fighting shape. Commander, I believe it is time that we meet. I am Betos. First of the Freed Advent. You are safe here. Kratal Mox was new to our cause, but he believed. In our people's freedom. In this alliance. In you, Commander. I shall do the same. My skirmishers stand ready, should you need them. May our people stand united until the false gods fall. Okay, so in short, I've just made friends with the skirmishers. They're rather impressed with the fact I went to get Mox out. Meaning on top of that, yes, we've now picked up new orders I could give, yes, the next time we do a supply run at Thingy McJibble. And on top of that, as soon as the resistance ring is done, recruit engineer. Okay, now that does seem rather powerful, yes. Oh, and flip me. Now we know where their base is on the map, I can make everything inside my base build faster by scanning it here. I mean, that's actually a really bloody good thing to do if I've got something, you know, really complicated as needs building. But for the time being, yeah, I just want to spend two days at getting the resistance ring done. Because then we can start doing covert actions on the regular. So, uh, screw it. We've got ourselves... Uh, hang about, wherever am I right now? Ah, I'm up here by the Reaper headquarters. Yes, that's right. Okay, I'm determined to get at least some of these things off my map. We are going and making contact with New India. Nav off down there, we're gonna finish that off right now. So yes, it's gonna take me a few hours to get down there. And then, before we finish that, the resistance ring should be ready to go. Lovely. So get working and... Here we flipping go. We've got ourselves covert missions. The benefits we gain from working with the Resistance factions on their covert operations are a major boon to our efforts, but there are also risks involved. Our soldiers could potentially be attacked or taken captive while in the field, so it's not as easy a decision as it may seem. Oh, okay, so this isn't just, you know, a free way of getting the youngsters a, a bit of free XP while they're not doing anything at base. They might get wounded or indeed captured, then we've got to go get them back. Gotcha. Though by the looks of it, there might be ways to mitigate that. But yes, if it's like it was before, I can only do one of these at one time. So, yeah, if I want to get a new engineer, I can't do anything else. So here we go. Recover loot would be a really risky mission. Getting me, yeah, potentially maybe alloys or illyrium, stuff I need for research, but... Yeah, soldiers could be wounded, or captured, or even ambushed, meaning I would need to fight on the ground, so we need to make sure the soldiers are set up right. But, I can, yeah, negate the risk of them being captured by spending intel. Gotcha. Oh, and this is super cute. I can basically just send my guys training with the Reapers to give them bonus mobility, which is kind of huge, actually. But, I'm going to be honest, like, immediately, my eye is drawn to recruit engineer. You know what? I'm doing it. And on top of that, what I'm going to do, given, yeah, the reward is uh, hacking plus five, uh, I'm sending John in. Because John is a specialist. He's our hacking chappy already. So uh, you, buddy, go along and assist with that. And we'll also, yeah, send uh, someone along too, who might end up uh, leveling up from that. So, Sandra, have you been out before? Yes, you have, because John... 
She's literally a demo expert. She's fine. Send out one of the rookies. That's a okay. And I can't spend, yes, alloys to potentially mitigate the risk of wounding. But the risk seems to be low, so I'm sure it's going to be fine. You go out, get me a new engineer, because I would like a new engineer. And seriously, this time I swear we are going to make contact with New India if it kills me. I swear we've been trying to make contact with these guys for 10 million years, but oh, thank goodness we finally did it. Right, so we found the rebels. It turns out they were these guys right here. Lovely to meet you. And yeah, the reason that's good is uh, now I've got new supplies coming in during the next supply drop and uh, access to a new region. Several new regions, in fact. Lovely. And we are moving in the... Uh -oh. The local resistance we just established contact with have sent over all the intel they've collected on the Chosen operating in this region. So, you would come to strike at me. I eagerly await your arrival, Commander. When you say operating in this region, I just arrived in India, and this guy would appear to be in Iceland. And I appreciate they, like, you know, begin with the same letter, but beyond that, actually, I cannot think of two countries that are more different from each other in, like, geography and every other way. Okay, time to start making our way towards the new Arctic, and on the way, yeah, we've got one more thing we can mop up here. I think they said this was, yeah, an old beacon from the initial war or something, so... Okay, I do not know what this is. This may be tied to one of the bits of DLC, I don't know. So, just mosey the Avenger over in that direction, and whatever it is, give it a quick scan, given, yeah, we do ideally want to uh, get my Covert Action Team back before we go into the new Arctic, and... Let this stand as a reminder to you, Commander. Until you return to your place at the Elder's side, all who would stand with you in defiance will suffer the same fate. Okay, so Val Rye's just shown up. Apparently she's being a dick. And yes, okay, fine. So income's gone down due to a crackdown, though... Can actually, like, you know, do anything to stop that? No, no, she's just being a dick, apparently. Right, step one, clear the alien debris. Lovely, there's a giant pile of supplies and... Uh... Maximum power consumption reached. Oh, yes, I remember this. We definitely need to get a power relay down. Because right now we have no power for anything. And here we flip it go. Now this room's been dug out. We can start digging down to the exposed power core. And that gets me a lyrium. Meanwhile, over here, that supplies... Uh... And this one is, right, small number of uh, alien alloys. I feel like, yeah, this feels like a good thing to me. Start working on... Oh, blimey. Okay, that's more complicated. Never mind, don't worry about that. And over here, we would need, okay, two engineers. So the more complex the room, the more engineers you need. In fact, yeah, as soon as we've taken care of uh, this last room, literally I can't do any more digging out until I've recruited that extra engineer. So... Okay, I'm really glad I went to go and get that engineer. And next up is, uh, oh yeah, the tactics school. Now that one sounds sexy to me, because I'm pretty sure that means that I could start taking five people, not four. And that's, you know, just a huge increase in firepower. And beyond that, we're ready for our first big weapon upgrades. So keep time ticking along, though we've also got ourselves hang about... What's going on here? Operation Bone Slayer. Excellent name. Appreciate that one. Honestly, you know, I was going to ignore that, but now you've called it Operation Bone Slayer. I'm kind of entirely on board. Though as we were warned, yes indeed, the chappie over in Iceland might apparently just like nip over to New India for a holiday. So, okay. Sit rep. We've got the lost. That's fine. We can deal with the lost. And we've got... Yeah, you're definitely the new one, aren't you? I literally don't know what your deal is, so, uh, I mean, we're going in, because I'd like to know, like, you know, how generous a supply raid is. Are we just talking literally the basic supplies, or are we talking maybe alloys at uh, Illyrium? Because if so, uh, yeah, that kind of impacts how much I'm going to prioritize these. Setting Screw it. We're going in. Oh, and things might be about to start getting nastier, because, yes, difficulty is definitely being flagged as uh, tougher than it used to be, so... Uh, Okay, thankfully, most of the A-team 
is available, though we have uh, no specialist to hand uh, at the moment. Claire is, yeah, seriously going to be out for a while. We need to build an infirmary at some point. And John, yeah, he's out for the next week recruiting that engineer. Right, Ted, you're taking point because seriously, you have never let me down. You are always uh, an absolute flipping badass. Plus, we've also got ourselves uh, okay. Both of my super awesome mega elite guys are ready to go. So Elena and Mox, you guys are both definitely coming along. Though, yeah, Elena's weakness is, though she's a badass, she doesn't get to carry any additional stuff with her. Gotcha. Actually, you know what? I say we don't have a specialist. I'm lying. We do have a spare specialist just chilling out down in the background. Yes, one of our little extras, Min Jun Shin. So if I feel like we need a specialist, then we could bring one along. And honestly, that does not feel like a bad idea. Oh, yes, it's you with the incredible hair. Brilliance. So, okay, give my drone specialist, yes, the health kit. You're going to be my frontliner. You get yourself a tiny bit more health right there. Elena, you don't get anything because you just don't get anything. And Ted, in the event something needs blowing up, well, we always know you're going to be helping us with that. Lovely. So, okay, on this occasion, yeah, though it's a supply run, we do need to neutralize all enemy targets anyway. But yeah, if it's primarily going to be lost, that should be okay. Mox, in particular, is very good at dealing with them. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. So in which case, yeah, let's just start moving forward uh, straight through the building. Generally, if we keep the team together, lost are not really the biggest problem in the world at all. My bigger concern is, yes, there is a possibility by the looks of it that um, a brand new chosen assassin could show up. And I don't know what this one's deal is or how to fight it. Still, bare minimum, I do love Elena because, yeah, she can broadly just run ahead of everybody and potentially scout out enemies without being spotted herself. So, she goes up front, everybody else, we just keep an eye on what's going on. Oh, hello there, Saxon. Without the introduction of human DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form, a purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. I think I might have just potentially walked into, uh, yes, a war zone. It looked to me like you two guys just started activating each other. The Lost are now fighting a- oh, cock me. There's the Lost, there's Advent, and there's ours. And I suspect, okay, we're probably about to uh, draw a bit of attention, potentially. But that's fine, I feel like, yes, we are now in a good position to just charge forward and open fire. Also, I did just remember I really shouldn't have brought Tez along. Because, uh, yes, you can't use grenades when the Lost are around. It just summons more Lost. Okay, by the looks of it, though, I can't see precisely what's going on. Yes, the Lost are knocked over one Advent soldier. And the Snake is still present. So, yeah, these are what the Thin Men used to be. Eight hit points don't really know what you can and can't do. Though, uh, I say I don't know. John... You played Chimera Squad. In Chimera Squad, the snaky people can, like, wrap you up. So, right, they can probably do that here too. Okay, there's no way we can move without, yeah, giving away our position. So, Mox, you charge up forward. That's going to, yes, give the game away a little bit. They may or may not be allowed to take cover at this point. I'm not actually sure. But we can also, right, I can grapple, but sadly I cannot justice at this point. Well, open fire, let's see what we can do. Maybe we can get lucky, finish you off, a good at four damage right there. And also, yes, we've now got a better shot at that bloody lost. Everybody forward, into cover, do what you can do. Especially as, yeah, we just blew out the wall. So if we're lucky at this point, we can just take you straight down. Are you dead? Yep, you're nice and dead. Marvellous. Now we just need to take out that one remaining lost. And I just cannot get the angle, so screw it. Overwatch, and hopefully, yeah, they've seen me. They might be moving towards me. And on top of that... Oh, dear. Right, so, um... He did shop, as it turns out. Okay, hello there, Darmon Dornita. Chance to return fire against Miss Shots. Gains health when enemies are... Ooh, he's a vampire. Right. 
also, okay, weaknesses. If we concentrate fire on him, he's going to be in trouble. Three attacks, one turn, he doesn't like that. And uh, skirmishers. Good. I've got a skirmisher. Perfect. Problem's going to be tracking him down. Because he's now a long way away and uh, he's the gun one. So he doesn't actually have to come to me in the slightest. Okay, 15 hit points, but he's some way away. Okay, last time we saw him, he just went through that window. He's still some way off, though. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. Okay, I feel like this mission is um getting out of hand fast. Which is to say, yes, we're now in a situation where the Lost and Advent are fighting each other. And on top of that, yes, um, we've got a chosen super assassin coming in, and we're being swarmed by the lost, and we're trying to get the supplies, and the supplies are also being picked up, and... Excuse me? Excuse the flip out of me? Right, okay, I think they might be getting faster, potentially. Oh, no wonder Ted just took some damage. There's a nastier one on the field. So we've now got ourselves a, a brute. You know, I'm suddenly really regretting not taking that ability that lets me take out all lost in one hit, guaranteed. Like, I really feel now like I should have taken that. Okay, Ted, you focus your fire on, yes, the others. Just finish them off. Let's just mop up this group before anything else arrives. So one and two go down. That's fine. Then you have got to reload, unfortunately. Because, yes, now you've got literally nothing. Okay. The fact I probably can't then again, John, save justice for the time being. You pop out, maybe, oh dear. This range, yes. I'd rather actually not reveal you, to be honest. Back off out of that. Let's just see what we can do with you. Step one, yeah, just start laying down at the fire. That's going to burn one a turn, I appreciate, and... Uh, you just got really lucky on the damage roll, didn't you? Well done. Okay. They're dead for the time being. Problem is, I don't know whether this guy can, like, teleport. Like, the sword assassin could just teleport in and out. But I don't know if that's true for everybody. Or if that was just, like, you know, her special thing. Because she was, like, a super ninja or something. Also, if we're going into, yes, assassin territory, I'm not having Ted at only five hit points. So... Just drop the heal on him right now. Okay, here's the plan. I've got most of the team overwatched up. Ted, meanwhile, is going to go forward to secure this supply crate. Because, uh, yeah, this one is blatantly about to be taken away. So you're going forward. If anyone else shows up, then that's fine. Because, uh, yes, Ted is going to be covered by all of his friends. Mark, grab that. Good. That one's locked down. But I suspect... There was another red one at the front. Okay, didn't see that one. If they go red, that means that turn, it's going. Green, you've still got more time. Okay, there are too many moving pieces on this mission. Especially with a chosen assassin on the field. I do not like this. Speaking of which, we've got ourselves... A, right, snake and zombie. Opening fire. Missed 41% there. Dear oh flipping dear. Right, so we've got two more troops coming in from Advance. And as I say, assassin still don't know what's going on. My lovely, seriously, I love your hair. Your hair is great. Stop missing it. Everybody just stopped sucking for one second. No. Wait, that is true though. Uh-oh, what are you doing? Okay, he just summoned a spectral zombie. Which has got a bar and also four health points. Ted. I'm going to suggest... Uh-oh. I feel like he might be about to burst or something. So, right. We've got one supply crate. Good. On a balloon. Marvellous. I think we should just get away from this thing. I don't know what's about to happen, but I feel like, yes, potentially it's about to explode. Screw that crate. It's not red yet. Okay, this is getting dicey in a hurry and I mean here's the thing I'm thinking this is a dumb plan but like hear me out we have seen previously that the lost will attack advents and I'm pretty sure I can summon lost 
by firing grenades. So what if I fired a grenade to summon the Lost to take out these guys for me? Okay, this is a dumb plan, but I'm going to give it a go. So Ted, you're going to move right over here into this spot. And then what you're going to do is you're going to launch a nice frag grenade right over here to clear out all the cover and also do a bit of damage. So unfortunately, you can't quite get into range to damage this guy. Bare minimum, they'll be hugely exposed. So here we go. Grenade. And if we're lucky, giant pass of lost. There we go. Now, where are the lost? Because I'm pretty sure that should summon lost, right? Oh, flip me. That just summoned some lost. Okay. Now, what are the lost going to do at this point? Because, I mean, I don't know whether they're going to go for these guys or not. And also, more lost swarms have appeared. That's true. That's definitely true. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next up, order of priorities here. Well, you've got a really good shot at that snake, Elena. You take that and please finish it off. And also, yep, that was the crit. And if we're lucky, that doesn't even expose you. And not revealed. Lovely, 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 lovely. Though, John, if you can just take out these individuals right now, why did you just summon the Lost? Well, actually, to be honest, I'm kind of wondering whether the Lost might get in the way of, like, you know, the Chosen. I don't know if that's how it works, but I'm kind of feeling like that's a possibility. Okay, support chappy, take the 75% of the other guy who is now cocking useless, but that car may be about to explode, so that will be fine too. 82%, and if you miss, the car's surely good to explode, right? Okay, good. The car's already, like, on fire. Again, could be a good trap. Though, unfortunately, you've now... Oh, now you've got to reload. Okay, hang on. Um, Has anyone actually now got a shot to deal with uh, the lost? I'm a bit worried no one actually does. Okay, that, that could be a problem. Also, we're about to find out, yes, what's about to happen with that rupturer. Who... Oh, Ted, I'm so cocky. Sorry about this, by the way. How much is this going to... Three damage. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's not so bad. In come the lost. And... Okay, more coming in. That's fine. We're reloaded now. And if we're lucky, that car might be about to explode. That'd be good too. So, okay. We've just got... Oh, good. Even more lost. Good, good, good. I was thinking, if there's one thing we don't have enough of right now, it's the lost. Oh, cock me. That's a lot of lost. That's that's a seriously large amount of lost. But can any of them attack this turn? I think these are dashers, nothing else. So, oh, Ted. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We are completely... Oh, this is... This is a bit of a problem. That was a mess right there. Everything's fine. Aside from the bit stop. How did that not kill that zombie? Okay. Um. Well, this is all going to hell. Right. New plan. Completely ignore the supply crates. Screw the supply crates. We don't care. Right. Ted. Take the, yes, nice easy shot against the guy next to you. And then you're kind of, I think, maybe two-thirds chance of taking out the other guy who's right here. Yeah. Five or six would do it. Four wouldn't. So, Ted. This was not the turn to completely ruin everything, Ted. It seriously wasn't. Okay, speaking of which, inside, yes. My specialist, you would just start taking out these guys. Uh, reloading. It's always just the bloody ammo when you're taking on the loss. Why didn't I take the bonus to taking out the loss? That would have made this much, much cocking easier. Right, take out all of these bastards. That's absolutely fine. Um, you, Mox, can you justice, no, not those guys, uh, justice the five hit point one? If you can, there we go. That'll be, that's not actually going to kill it, is it? No, well, that's cooking useless. Okay, but I can guarantee he goes down for the simple reason that, yes, you can get two shots in a row. So just take him out and then take him out again. And then you should get from the second shot, yes, a free action. So now you can keep shooting. Just like, you know, once more at the bare minimum. Ted needs to be saved. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, make sure Ted gets saved. Nice. And now we buy a bit of time at using, yeah, my specialist at the back. Who basically just needs to, yes, clear out a few losers on the back row. Okay, only three remaining, and you seem like the biggest threat to me, given your nearby to Ted. So come on, damage roll. 
good damage roll. Okay, and that means you can actually reload this turn. Though we've got no Overwatches up right now. And Ted is just standing there doing nothing. Also, gonna be honest, Elena, I kind of forgot you were there. So, um, right. Just keep on keeping on. Nice 88 and 88, yeah. Take them out, lovely. Just to finish off everybody, if you would be so kind. Lovely. That's the loss done. Okay. We're all a little bit like, you know, out of ammo and out of position and out of everything. But it'll flip a do. Okay. Now that we've cleared out, yeah, the lost in the immediate vicinity, I think it's time for Elena to go hunting. We're activating Shadow to re-establish concealment. And now we just send her forward to try and track down this bastard. So, okay. She's now back on the front line. And... Okay, that's just a supply crate. I do not care. There he is. He's sending in more zombies. I'm not sure I could shoot those, by the way. Because, yes, I don't think I saw them as a viable target last time they showed up. Though, oh. Never mind. I was just completely wrong there. Marvelous. That's your spectral zombie dead. Lovely. Okay, Elena, you're going out. Grab any boxes you can on the way past and, uh, yeah, find me a cocking target. There we go. Handful of these bastards, but Elena apparently would need to basically walk right on top of them to be noticed. So, okay. This is fine. Mark them and... Apparently that broke her stealth. Okay, so this plan was, um, yes, not a good plan, as it turns out. Right, um... Maybe move forward to protect Elena a bit. Ooh, I may have just found a good target for justice, by the way, which is, uh, yes, we've got you over there, buddy. How about we just grab you, given you're very close to Elena and you've got loads of health, and we just pull you over here, then give you a damn good stabbing. Lovely, there we go. And now everyone else can finish you off nice and easy. There we go, support takes him down. And we could still form the Overwatch. Okay, life is good. Uh, appreciate more boxes. Uh, are getting picked up. Kinda don't care, it's all fine. Oh, and there's a cock ton of Lost coming in too. Okay, um, right, Ted, I'm not sure that's going to... I thought that wasn't going to work. I mean, you kind of just fired your gun through. There are so many cocking Lost here. This is... This is getting out of hand, actually. Okay, um, this is fine. Maybe we want to at some point consider just going. We've got two injured team members. Last coming out of our ears. I still haven't even cocking seen the Chosen. Oh, hang on. We've got eyes on him again here. But he's just not engaging us. He's just staying back and casting his abilities over and cocking over. And... Okay, straight into Overwatch. That was not the Overwatch to miss because I suspect he's about to cocking explode. I think he can't do it just yet, but we've now got to move away from him, because I suspect killing him is still going to be a cock me. They just don't stop. And he is refusing to move forward. He's basically hiding behind a never-ending wave of enemies. Oh, flip me. I think we might have actually cocking got through to the lads. Okay, I see him. I flip and see him. Just remember, if he's anything like the first one, we don't necessarily have to kill him. He's going to be showing up over and over, so he may choose to withdraw if we can get him under a certain level. Problem is, I don't know what that level is. And if we take, yeah, dicey shots at him, he might start returning fire. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where is Mox? And by any chance... Do you have... Uh, oh, cock me. Justice is not off cooldown. And also, on top of that, you don't have a cocky gun ready to go. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. I would say maybe we just fall into good defensive positions. Uh, and, uh, yeah, wait for next turn. Then we can justice him over to us. If we can just justice the bastard, uh, that might be the best bet. Do you even have a shot right now? No, he's too far away. That's a bit of a problem. Right, everyone prepare. We're moving in next turn. So reload, then overwatch. If he steps forward, I want him cocking shot. Because he is not immune to that. Although, admittedly, Ted could also activate suppressing fire. So, okay. If he moves, gain reaction fire. And massive penalty to his aim. I mean, that feels like a good thing to do to me. So do it. 
Activate suppressing fire on that bastard just randomly. Actually, I haven't actually struck you yet. That's um, that's not a thing. We're just basically firing blindly in your direction. It's just a thing Ted does now. It's marvelous. I'm going to send aid protocol over towards Ted. I just feel like Ted is, yeah, more exposed than anyone else right now. So just send the little robot over to keep Ted safe. That should probably be... Is that the end of my turn or no? You could still overwatch if you wanted to. Do it. Let's see what he's going to do. If he tries to move forward and... He's sending more troops in. Okay, he's brought reinforcements. That's fine. That's all A-OK. -okay. We're just randomly firing. Here comes an overwatch shot. And... Cocking useless. I swear, we have missed like 90% of our overwatchers this match. Not bloody useful. And now we're wasting them on this stupid loser. Okay, that was only 22%. That's fine. And I forgive you because you've got incredible hair. And as for you, you're just teleporting... Teleporting that guy forward. Honestly, he's not so bad. Activating a Mind Scorch. I don't know what that is, but it seems, again, bad. And dazed. Okay, Ted's a bit dazed. And you didn't actually want to move, did you? Oh, cock me, there's more lost. Okay, I kind of feel like, in a way, we might actually want to cocky go at this point. Right, Mox, we need you forward because, yes, we need Ted back up and running to take out this new giant cocking swarm. That's a freebie action, apparently, so please, Ted, I need you up and about and not... Okay, he's not dazed. Good, 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 good. Everything's fine aside from cock me, there's a lot of... Uh, any chance we can get you in? No, you are not in range of justice by the looks of it. Dear oh flipping dear. Okay, just to gun down the loss. That's basically what we've got to do for the time being. We've just got to clear the fields. Okay, buddy, let's see what you've got up your sleeve. And it is... Mind control. Oh, that could be a bit of a problem. Did you just resist that? Oh, you magnificent sexy bastard. I think Ted just refused to be mind controlled. Okay, this is... This is good also. I mean, that was an impressive shot. Honestly, I don't even mind the fact you missed. You were attempting to shoot through a wall. Like, directly. Okay. And on top of that... Oh, cock me. We finally got the lost fighting for us. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, we've got to find a way to take the fight back to him. Those are just basic loss. That should not be difficult, but... John. He's standing next to a car. He's standing next to a car and you've got a laner on the field. I can't cocking see precisely what's going on because the camera is not cooperating, but please, gamer, I'm begging you, for the love of God, make this work. So, remote start, activate that, and uh, this should cause... Holy cock me! Okay, so we're summoning the last, but... We just did a lot of damage to that guy. Hang the cock on. Does anyone have a shot? We might be able to finish the bastard off right now. I mean, that presumably just destroyed his cover, right? Okay, Ted, I'm putting a lot of faith in you right now, but I want this to end. I want this to end right now. And I think we should have... No, no, none of that. Got to be honest, I was expecting much better than 36%, but at this point... Give it a go, Ted, please. I'm begging you. I'm flipping begging you. Holy flip, we did it! Holy flip, me, he's down. He's flipping down. Okay. He's off the field. He's off the cocking fields. We've proven the Chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. Right, so he's not dead. He's still showing up again later. Gotcha. Okay, this should now be under control. Just, yeah. At this point, mop up the remaining last and mop up any last handful of boxes. Okay, those last three, that was it. Job cocky done. Blimey heck, okay, I... I need a cup of tea. I really seriously need a cup of tea right now. That was bloody stressful. And okay, a mission like that, yeah. We got maybe a half the containers probably slightly under. Even then, 18 alloys, 8 illyrium. 55 supplies. Okay. Now I know what those missions do. Good supplies, but cock me was that nasty. And we've got the scars to show for it too. So okay. 
Life just got serious right there. We are now dealing with, uh, yes, soldiers uh, taking wounds, uh, getting knackered, uh, chosen just showing up and making my day an absolute cocking nightmare. But, okay, we got good supplies uh, and we've got some promotions uh, to give to. But how about we call it apart there because, oh my goodness, we've got promotions uh, and bonding to do. Uh, looks like Ted uh, has made a new friend. How absolutely lovely. So, uh, yes, indeed. How about we kick off next episode by figuring out what we're going to do to the returning heroes. And now we know we can take out the Chosen. I think it's time. We're going into the new Arctic. We're figuring out what goes on at a black site. And maybe, just maybe, we can make some progress towards stopping the Avatar project. So hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been XCOM 2. Thank you very much and goodbye. I'm going to be honest, if it's Glasgow on a Saturday night, there's large amounts of violence and screaming and chaos. That's just normal. That's not actually the alien, sorry. But on the other hand, I have a giant flamethrower robot. Would you not like to potentially let me at least try that before pulling the funding and power? No! Okay. <laughs>